Right, you guys, in this one we're going to be looking at how we can downgrade to Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 from Windows 10. Now if you've upgraded to Windows 10 from any of those operating systems, you will be allowed to downgrade to them, uh, to those original operating systems that you upgraded from. But there's a 31 day period where you're allowed to do that. Now also another thing I wanted to point out is um, if you've upgraded from Windows 10, to the new Windows 10 Anniversary Edition, you'll only be able to roll back to the older version of Windows 10. You've got 31 days to uh, uh, downgrade, and after 31 days you can still downgrade, but there's some other steps that you have to take care of, and I'll show you how to do that a bit later in the video. Now, to do the downgrade uh, here, I'll show you this. We're gonna hit Start button here, and hit the uh, cogwheel, which is the settings. Now we need to go to Update and Security, then hit the recovery. Now inside recovery, you'll see go back to an earlier build. That is because it's already been upgraded from Windows 10 to the anniversary edition. So now you click start and all that's gonna happen is you're gonna roll back to Windows 10 previous from the anniversary edition. Now you will see roll back to your previous operating system. That will be there only for 31 days. Now they're asking you to give them a reason to go back and you can see here uh, for another reason you can tick whatever you like here whatever suits you suits you I'm just going to put for another reason then we're going to click next and of course it wants to say do you want to check for updates to make sure there's any problems that we can fix before you go back just in case you wanted to stay with Windows 10 you can say no thanks if you wish now it's going to tell you what you need to know and that is you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs once the uh, downgrade has happened and you'll also lose any changes that you've made after the installation of the last build and this is pretty normal they're also asked you if you backed up your data even though that shouldn't affect you but I would advise you to do it because sometimes these downgrades do go wrong also you will need to remember your old Windows login password for your old build so you can log back in once that's done, you're ready to hit the go back to an earlier build or a previous operating system it might say for you on your little tab. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Now what happens after 31 days, I'll show you that now uh, with a couple of images here. So what you'll need to do is go back into your recovery options and you can do that by hitting your start settings and then update and recovery. And I'll quickly show you that now. So we need to hit the start button here, then the settings button, and that will take us into the Windows settings. Hit upgrade and security, then back into recovery. Now your options will be different to what you see here. You won't see go back to an earlier build or a previous operating system build. You need to hit reset this PC, get started up the top. That's what you need to push. This will then choose you an option. You can see uh, restore factory settings. Once you hit this, it will take you back to your previous installation, i.e. Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1, okay? Now, if you haven't got that option there, some people don't have it, you will need uh, to have a previous cloned image of your previous installation of Windows 7, 8, or 8.1, or uh, a backup image of that um, Windows build, okay? And if you haven't done that, then the only other way would have been to rename the Windows WS, the Windows BT, and the Windows Old to something else so Microsoft doesn't delete those folders. And then you can rename them back after the 31 days and then reinstall using the Go Back feature. Okay? Anyway, so I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or any questions or any video requests, head over to the forums. That's the place to be. It's free to join. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Maybe write us a little review and uh, I'll sure see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.